Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Harsham Ali Khan. Last video, I have completed the problems on capital gain. So, so far I have completed problems on house property and capital gain. Now in this video, I'm going to start the next head that is profits and gains of business or profession, PGBP. In this video, complete theory explanation I'll give you. Next video onwards, we'll start the problem because uh, problems are based on the theory until and unless you are perfect sure about theory you should not go to the problem and briefly I'm explaining if you want the detailed explanation of this PGBP I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel select the subject income tax for the assessment year 23-24 last assessment if you, uh, year if you see the video complete explanation you get because time is very short that's why i cannot be able to explain everything in detail now. briefly i'll explain then we'll start the problem so this is the third head first head income from salary second income from house poverty third head is pgb profits and gains of business and profession so if a person is running the business income earned from the business is taxable under the head pgb right just like if a person is having salary income it is computed under income from house property oh sorry income from salary suppose if a person is having a property and let out he is getting the rent that is taxable under income from house property similarly if a person is having a business or running his profession any income arising from business or profession is taxable under pgbp profits and gains of business or profession first of all business Business is any human activity. It includes trade, commerce or any adventure in the trade or commerce or simple words we can say any activity which is conducted to earn some profit that is called business. There is a general meaning but Income Tax Act has not defined the meaning of the term business. Right? It has given inclusive definition under section 28. It has given income. Uh, the the incomes which are taxable under the head profits and gains are as follows a list of incomes are given which are taxable under the head profits and gains of business or profession that you have to go through in any textbook you'll find it and even in the last video you can see methods of accounting two methods of accounting are there mercantile system and cash system normally mercantile system means a cruel system that means all expenses of the current previous year, whether paid or not. Similarly, all incomes of the current year, whether received or not, that should be taken into consideration in order to calculate the income. That is called mercantile system. Cash system of accounting, only cash receipt and cash payment. All outstanding prepaid will not be adjusted. So these two systems are there. But majority of business houses, they will follow mercantile system. Few professional firms, they may follow cash system. Expenses allowed only on payment basis. There are some five cases Income Tax Act has given. Those five cases, payment made, then only it will be allowed as deduction. If payment is not made, no deduction will be allowed. Yani outstanding is not allowed. Five cases are given example any tax due to the government or any employer's contribution to the employees employees fund thirdly bonus payable to the workers employees or similarly any interest payable to the bank or any financial institution for loan taken similarly any cess payable to the government so these items are the five items where the deduction will be allowed only on payment basis. If it is due, not allowed. Again, I'll repeat all these points while doing the problem. But briefly, you remember this. Then deductions in computing the business income. So whatever expense, the income tax act says any expenditure incurred to earn the income will be allowed as deduction. Without spending the money, we cannot earn the income. Just like, for example, if you are selling the goods, you have to purchase the goods. The purchase is the cost. Similarly, rent is paid, salary is paid, electricity bill, telephone bill, advertising. All these are the expenses. 
from the revenue if we deduct expenses we will get the income so what are the deductions so income, uh, income tax act simply says any amount to paid to earn the income will be allowed as deduction right so uh, rules have been given the rules are expenses must be revenue the expenditure incurred should be of revenue in nature not in capital expenditure what is the difference between revenue and capital revenue expenditure is the expenditure whose benefit will expire within a period of one year capital expenditure is the expenditure whose benefit will accrue to the business for a long period of time purchasing the machine is a capital expenditure payment of salary is a revenue expenditure so while computing the income only revenue expenditure should be considered next one to run the business to carry on the business in the interest of the business that means whatever expenditure we are incurring it should be related to the business it should not be related to any other business or to the personal i mean use of the proprietor Sh should not be spent for personal purpose that means expenditure should not give any personal benefit to the owner the expenditure should give complete benefit to the business only next one is it should be prohibit it should not be prohibited by law income tax act says if any payment is prohibited by law and the business has paid that amount it will not be allowed as deduction example bribe bribe is prohibited a business should not give any bribe or corruption so if a business gives bribe it is violating the law so bribe given will not be allowed as deduction that is related to the current previous year the expenditure should be related to the current previous year not to the i mean earlier years or not to the future years it is related to the current previous year so these are the guidelines to be followed while giving the deduction now some of the specific deduction are as follows income tax act cannot give what are the total exhaustive list of deductions it cannot give because business nature is different so but examples can be given so what are the examples for which deductions can be given in computing the business income rent of the building many a times a business is run in a rented building so whatever rent paid that is business expenditure allowed as deduction repairs to building rates and taxes of the building insurance of the building all these are the building expenditure in which business is run allowed allowed as deduction then uh, repairs to plant and machinery many business use plant and machinery so repairing the plant and machinery is a revenue expenditure allowed then insurance of plant and machinery and other assets remuneration to staff <coughs> salaries wages bonus these are all the incentives these are all the remuneration payable to staff allowed as deduction health insurance of employees contribution to provident fund interest on borrowings many a times the business will borrow the money in the form of a loan then interest paid on loan allowed bad debts irrecoverable debts the business sold goods on credit but the customer has not paid the amount it's a loss bad debt allowed expenditure on scientific research expenditure on patents and copyright then legal expenses security transaction tax stt whenever securities are bought or sold stt has to be paid that will also be allowed expenditure incurred on the occasion of diwali normally in india diwali is a festival on which some expenditure will be incurred to promote the business also so in that case income tax act says up to a reasonable amount up to the satisfaction of the income tax officer that reasonable amount will be allowed as deduction then subscription to journals audit fees expenditure on holiday home these are all the examples of expenditure which are allowed as deduction presentation of articles to advertise to promote the business the business will give the presents gifts to the customers allowed entertainment expenditure or advertisement expenditure traveling expense professional tax preliminary expense loss due to exchange rate fluctuations loss due to stock due to natural calamity or enemy action loss arising from negligence or dishonesty of employees these are the list of few examples of expenses which are allowed as deduction then examples of expenses which are not allowed as deduction 
Now you have to see the problem. If these expenditures are given, don't allow, not allow. Example provision for doubtful debts, then provision for taxation, personal taxes like income tax, gift tax. But remember, business taxes are allowed, like GST, excise duty, entry tax, customs duty, these are allowed. Then expenditure not relating to business. If any expenditure which is not related to business, not allowed as reduction. Any personal expenses paid by the business. The business expense, the business uh, should pay only those expenses which are related to business. If personal expenses are paid by the business, not allowed as reduction. Then uh, interest payable outside India without deducting TDS. If a business borrow money outside India and is and it has to pay interest outside India. Income tax act says before paying the interest, you have to deduct the tax, make the TDS, and then make the interest payment. If TDS is not made, interest will not be allowed as deduction. Then capital losses are not allowed, just like loss of machinery, loss by fire of machinery. Machinery was lost due to fire, it's a capital loss, not allowed. Then fines and penalty paid for violation of any law, just now I told you. If any amount is paid in violation of law, not allowed as deduction. Notional payment like interest on capital or salary of proprietor, outstanding interest on loan taken from banks or public financial institutions. Then payment of revenue, this is very important. Any revenue expenditure exceeding 10,000 rupees should be made through cross check, bank draft or any ele electronic mode. That means if 10,000, more than 10,000 rupees are paid in cash or bearer check, it will not be allowed as deduction. This point you have to remember. That's it. Now computation, procedure for computation of income from profession. How to compute the income from business or profession? So first of all, we assume profit and loss account is given in the problem. And normally it will be given. When profit and loss account is given, we will get net profit as per profit and loss account. So we will start step one. Take the net profit as per profit and loss account. First step. Second step, add back inadmissible expenses. Inadmissible expense means the expenses which are not allowed by the Income Tax Act, but it is already debited to profit and loss account. The expenses which are already debited to profit and loss account, but Income Tax Act has not allowed. Those are called inadmissible expenses. Add back. Example, on the debit side of profit and loss account, you will find, suppose, provision for doubtful debts. You will find provision for income tax, salary of the proprietor, interest on capital. These are the items which are not allowed, but already debited to profit and loss account. We have to add back. Second step. Third, direct expenses are related to business, but not debited to profit and loss account. Sometimes few expenses are there which are allowed by the Income Tax Act. But profit and loss account was not debited, so now we deduct. Deduct the incomes which are not related to business but credited to profit and loss account. Example, rent from property. Rent from property is credited to profit and loss account. But Income Tax Act says rent from property is not a business income. It is income from house property. But already credited to profit and loss account, so we deduct. Then add incomes of business but not credited to profit and loss account. Some business incomes are there, but it is not taken to the credit side of profit and loss account. Now we add back. The resulting profit is the profit as per income tax rules. That's it. Briefly, I have explained the points. This is not the complete explanation. If you want the perfect complete explanation of this theory of PGBP, I suggest you go to the playlist, select the video of income tax last year, assessment year 23-24. Take out the video, select the video of this PGBP, watch the complete theory video, be perfect. Then only the problems will appear very easy to you. So inshallah we will continue the problems on this PGBP in the next video.